The objective within this lesson is to compare the size of the product to the size of the factors. Let's compare these three expressions. 2 meters times 97 over 100, 2 meters times 101 over 100, 2 meters times 100 over 100. The simplest expression to evaluate is the 2 meters times 1, which equals 2 meters. Two times 0 0.97, would that be more or less than 2? That would be less than 2. 2 times 1.01, .01, that would be greater than 2. As you can see, if we do evaluate this, that would be equal to 2.02. .02. This one would be equal to 1.94. Here I have two more products, where I have 19.4 times 0 0.96. I also have 19.4 times 0 0.02. 96 hundredths, two hundredths. Which product will be less than They're both going to be less than. This one will be a lot less, more or less than 19.4 than the first one. The scaling factor, what we're multiplying is less than 1 for both of those. That's why our answer will be less than. Let's work that out. 194 tenths times 96 hundredths is going to equal thousandths. 6 times 4 is 24. 4 regroup of 2. 6 times 9 is 54 plus 2 is 56. 6 regroup of 5. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 5 is 11. And then our regroups. Cross them out. 9 times 4 is 36, 6 regroup of 3, 9 times 9 is 81, plus 3 is 84, 9 times 1 is 9, plus 8 is 17. And again, we're talking about thousands. Point six two four. For our other problem, 194 tenths times two hundredths. Again, I'll get thousandths. Two times nine is eighteen. Eight is a group of one. Two times one is two. Plus one is three. Three hundred eighty-six thousandths written as a decimal. Let's compare our products to the second factor in these expressions. Both of these expressions have a times 1.73. <coughs> we'll consider the first factors to be our scaling factors. So we have a first factor of 1 and 2 hundredths and a second scaling factor of 29 and 1 hundredths. Will the products be more than less than or equal to 1.73. Right, each of these cases, these are both going to be more than. The first product will be slightly more than 1.73 or 1 and 73 hundredths. The scaling factor is just 2 hundredths more than 1. I could visualize a tape diagram for that first one where you have one whole of 1.73 and just 2 hundredths more than that. And then for the other one, you'd have 29 and 100 times 
If I was to figure this out, I would get 1.7646 for this expression, and this would be way more than 1.73. It'd be about 30, 30 times as much.